Hello everyone. Welcome to Epic SaaS and the series of Salesforce development. Today I'll be discussing about what is DML and how to use DML statements in Salesforce. But before we deep dive into today's topic, here's a short introduction about me. My name is Yash Sethi. I am a senior Salesforce developer, a trailblazer mentor, and the co-founder of Crazy Cloud YouTube channel, where we learn Salesforce in a very unique manner. You can connect me on LinkedIn. using the below qr code and also using the below qr code you can subscribe to the youtube channel okay so today's agenda is what is dml in salesforce what are the database methods in salesforce and what is the difference between insert and database dot insert so basically what are the difference between dml and database dml classes right okay So first, let's understand what is DML statement. DML stand stands for data manipulation language. Data manipulation means, uh, we know that Salesforce is a database, right? So we can manipulate that database using DML statements. What manipulating means is, we can insert some few records. insert few records into the database we can update those records in the database we can delete or delete or do anything with that database this is what data manipulation means the manipulation of data right <clears throat> in salesforce it refers uh, to the operations you can perform on records in the salesforce database these operations include creating updating deleting and restoring records restoring means undeleting the records so suppose uh, if you have deleted one account record you can again restore you can again undelete that record right in salesforce the primary ways to perform dml operations are through apex and the salesforce api now let's understand what are the different database methods in salesforce so we do have database dot insert database dot update database dot upsert dot delete dot undelete and dot merge so let's understand what are what is insert update upsert delete and delete and merge so these are the six dml methods we can use in salesforce so insert basically means uh, creating some new records into your salesforce database so suppose uh, you are having an account object into your org and if you want to insert some records into the database into the account object you can use the insert dml statement if you want to update some records update some existing records you can always use update dml statement Absurd basically means update plus insert. Correct. Absurd includes two DML operations. One is update, and another one is insert. So suppose into a list you are having ten records, uh, and out of those, three are the new records which is going to create, and seven are existing one you, which you are trying to edit those records. So now. if you upsert that particular list the three records which are new will get created which mean the insert operation will get performed onto those three records because they are new and the existing seven records will get updated let's say if you have updated the name if you have updated the phone or email so the update operation will get performed over onto those seven records then we have delete delete basically means if you want to delete some records so delete you can use the delete statement then we can use undelete statement then we can use merge statement what is merge if you want to merge two records correct let's say we have two account records which are from the same company then we can of course merge those records <laughs> so this is the basic difference between insert and database dot insert basically the normal dml dml statements and the database dml statements so uh, suppose if you want to 
insert one account then what we can do you can just uh, create an object for the account you can create one account and use insert account but what if you want to insert 10 accounts you will store those 10 accounts into a list and insert that particular list right let's say account list now account list is having 10 records but what if one record gets failed during the validation if you are using insert statements while inserting a list of account let's say insert account list your statement is insert account list but uh, account list is having 10 records and uh, out of those 10 records one record got failed during the validation what will happen all the nine records which successfully got uh, inserted will again got rolled back and uh, those nine records will also not get inserted due to that one record failure correct that's why database.insert comes into the picture database.insert database.update anything database class <coughs> so basically database.insert takes two parameters one is the list of account you want to insert another parameter name is all or none so basically uh, it is a uh, uh, let's say it is a what say it is a boolean variable all or none so database.insert basically takes two parameters one is the s object list another one is all or none so all or none is a boolean parameter if you make it true it means that uh, whether all the records will get inserted or no records will get inserted if you make it false then no matter uh, if one record got failed uh, the rest nine record will get inserted into the database those will not got rolled back if you set this parameter as false correct okay <clears throat> so basically database methods uh, allows you to partially create some records right so again uh, if you are using insert account list only insert account list and if one record gets filled all the successful records will also get rolled back but if you are using database.insert with false as a all or none parameter then no matter whether some record got fails uh, the successful records will get inserted okay so let's go to the go to our uh, salesforce developer console and see how dml statement works correct let me open account object Okay. First, let's create open our anonymous window. First, let's create one account, single account. How to create one single account? Account equals to new account. Let's give it a name as Apex Stars. Correct and execute it it will not get inserted why if you go here and refresh this no account with the name of apex has got inserted if you want to insert this account you need to use insert acc this is the object of account right so you need to use insert acc now execute this and refresh this you see the apex sars account is account got inserted correct now what if i want to update this apex sars account you just need to fetch first you need to fetch the account select id from account where name equals to 
prefix hours limit one why limit one because i am only using single account not uh, storing this into a list correct now acc dot name equals to let's say x hours updated correct and update acc let's execute this and see if it got updated you see apex hours updated so this is how dml statement works insert is a dml statement update is a dml statement what if i want to insert multiple accounts correct let's say first i'm inserting this acc account acc2 equals to new account correct and let's say let's create one list because multiple records will only get inserted if you store those records into a list and insert that list correct so let's create one list of account this is a list equals to new account new list of account <laughs> correct now instead of inserting this acc let's add this acc into the list let's add this acc to and this acc list correct okay first apex hours new and here i'm not uh, inserting i'm not to uh, giving it any name because the name is required field and i just want to show you how database classes works correct okay let's insert acc list okay now according to this code what is happening first we are creating one blank acc list account list which will store the multiple accounts like this First, I have created one account ACC with the name of Epic Source name. Then I'm creating one account with no name. Why? Because it will got it uh, will got failed because the name is the required field, correct? While inserting an account, so you will see that even this account is correct uh, according to the validation. It will not get inserted because we are using only insert statement. So no matter if you have you if you are having it in, in inside this list we are having two records one is uh, properly correct and one is incorrect uh, the another one is one uh, will got failed uh, due to the validation so this account will get created but after the validation of this account this account will also get rolled back and get got deleted correct so. Let's execute this. You see, first exception required field missing name. Correct. <laughs> but required field missing uh, is only from ACC2. But uh, uh, let's see whether ACC got created or not. <laughs> you see, ACC, in fact, ACC uh, not got created. Correct. So, what we can do here is database dot insert. We can use database dot insert. Database dot insert takes two parameters. One is the list. One is the false all uh, all or none parameter. So we are setting it as false. Why? Because we want that uh, all the records which are correct should get inserted. So 
Oh shit. Let's execute this. See, no error. We have we haven't got any error. And if you see here, Apex has new got created. Why? Because we have used database dot insert class. So uh, in this SLC list, we are we were having two records. One got filled, one got inserted. Due to the failure of second record, the first record did not got rolled back. Why? Because we have set this property as false. But in the previous example, when we were using insert SLC list, first record got inserted, but second record got failed due to the validation. Then the first record got also got the rolled back. Correct. So this is how database classes works. So that's it for today. And I hope that was very much informative. Uh, if you have any question regarding this session, you can comment, you can ask me the question into the comment section. Meanwhile, you can use this assignment to practice. This is the assignment you can work on. And you can follow Apex Sars onto these previous these channels.